Welcome, uh, all you viewers out in Creative Pro land. Uh, my name is David Blattner. I'm the president of Creative Pro Network. And with me here on Creative Pro Conversations, we have the, uh, the wonderful Mark Hilton from Santa Cruz Software. Mark, welcome to Creative Pro Conversations. Thanks for having me, David. It is a pleasure. We have talked on podcasts recently. I've, I've had so many conversations with you recently, but we haven't had an opportunity to share like this in video with the Creative Pro community. So this is a, a nice yeah, opportunity, great to, opportunity to, to, to do that. Um, one of the things that you guys have been working on that you shared with me was this this challenge that the that sales groups have and that because the sales department has these challenges, the designers are challenged. And so there's this, this can, can you talk a little bit about this? Because uh, it's, it's an interesting problem uh, that, that needs solving. Yeah, sure. And it's actually not just limited to salespeople. It's the anybody who's out in the field from mm -hmm. an organization, it could be marketing people, it could be distributors, resellers, it could be you know lots of different organizations. We happened to do a, a survey that focused on salespeople. I think they're the ones that have the more or mm. a very you know critical need for marketing collateral. But but yeah, so there's you know there's a need out there for having material that um, a person in the field can customize for their specific needs. Mm -hmm. Of course, the problem is the company and the graphic designers want that to be controlled in such a way that it's brand compliant, it's on message. You know, they're not saying anything wrong. They're not showing any wrong pictures. It doesn't you know right. it doesn't degrade the brand. Right. But, it, right. but then again, the designer doesn't want to have to shouldn't have to do that. But but they are, and so that's kind of the um, uh, the scenario that we looked at when we did a couple of surveys this year. That you know, I'm hoping to and happy to share with you today. Well, I mean, all those folks out there who are not designers who need that that sales collateral, sales or marketing or as you said, I mean, anybody in the field who needs this stuff, uh, they're going to make it one way or another. They're going to say, hey, if I if if you designers don't give it to me. I'm just going to use Canva or I'm just going to use Microsoft Draw or I don't know, whatever. They're going to come up with something and then all of a sudden it's in social media and it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing to see what those – because they're like, look at this awesome graphic I made. It's totally non-brand compliant, but it's – isn't it awesome? And you're like, no, it really isn't awesome. And so that that is a huge problem, huge problem. Yeah, and in the end it doesn't really help help them because uh, <laughs> no. they're not they're not actually out there selling they're out they're doing something else and it is off message and off brand and they're not doing themselves any favor you know i i'm, I'm reminded also of a different kind of group another group that you were talked about uh, i remember you talking about like real estate agents or uh, there's all of these subgroups who need to create stuff that is on brand but they just don't have any of the tools to do it. So, okay, so what's the solution there? They need it. The designer doesn't have time to do it. I mean, the designer is not going to have time to make a thousand different graphics for every single person in the field. Is there a solution? Well, imagine a situation where the designers could create um, brand compliant content okay. using the tools that they use every day in design. In design, okay. They have, they have the, the ability to lock down items. Um, control how editable things are, and then put it in a place where anybody out in their field organization can easily um, get to mm -hmm. and search a database, and then let that person make the you know the small tweaks, things like call to action, date, time, price, their name, their you know their uh, headshot. That's the kind of solution that this you know that we're talking about. Um, there's a lot but, of but wouldn't wouldn't that require all those people to have InDesign? No, ah. that's the beauty. The okay. beauty is only the designers have to have InDesign. Okay. The people in the field, all they have to have is access to a web browser. Okay, that they can do. That they can. All right. Do. So yeah. this is what you guys have been working on, yep. and that you've built out this program. This is obviously I mean, you're, we're building this something, right? And you guys have been building um, branding UI. And branding UI is this solution, this exact solution yep. that designers have been clamoring for, and the salespeople too. But the designers so want all those people in the field off their back. Yep. So you've created this this whole workflow. Yeah. Well, and let's we create. We've been working on this for ten years. 
This is not something like, oh, good, good point. Good point. Know, we, yep. we just we, you know, we just rolled this out. Excellent. Um, you know, we started we actually are uh, um, celebrating our 10 year anniversary this year. Um, we started this this development in stages um, and, uh, you know, we have literally thousands of customers around the world um, who are using various aspects of this. And, uh, you know, so we're just, you know, trying to reach out to as many people as we can at this point. I, I'm glad you bring that up because I, I am presenting it as though this is a brand new thing and it clearly isn't. You guys have been doing this a long time. But it's brand new for many of us, this idea that this is a category. I think for a lot of us, this has been a need for so long, and yet it has felt like, well, there's just nothing I can do. I just – I have to just buckle down and work harder. And so I'm presenting it in a way that this is like a brand new thing because it is just in terms of many of our workflow. Sure. Um, and it's exciting. It's exciting when a problem like this gets solved and when we can start bringing it in. Now, one of the challenges there is – um, is it difficult? Can I, I mean, is it going to take a long time for me to convince my company and yep. to get up and running with it? Yeah. So I think, you know, that's actually one reason why we're really, um, reaching out now at this point, because, you know, as bad as, um, you know, the last two years has been for, for everybody. One of the things that companies have learned is that access to remote content, um, is, is viable. Um, yeah. access Letting, letting people um, get to a cloud-based resource mm -hmm. so that they can do their job. You know, that was things we talked about, you know, even just a few years ago, but now it's accepted. Now it's adopted. Everybody does it. And so now people, we believe, people are, are looking more and more for easy solutions and solutions where you don't need a large IT infrastructure. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't need... 10 people within your organization that is going to have to craft out, you know, set up servers and do all this sort of stuff. You know, what they really want is a turnkey, um, you know, like Zoom has been a turnkey, you know, a collaboration system for and communications for a lot of companies. We have something, it's not Zoom, but it is a turnkey portal that if you call us up today, we'll turn it on. And within, you know, a couple of hours, you can start uploading templates and you can start getting this all out to your to your teams. And I love that you're focusing on the tools that we designers are already using, the, the, tools like InDesign. The fact that I can take an InDesign document that I've already created and then I, I add a couple of add-ons, some of your the Santa Cruz, the, the branding UI add-ons, and I can start turning my template into a web template yep. by – uh, just by by a few switches and a few panels, and suddenly I can then say, "Boom! I'm done. Package it, upload it, and then it's in the web. I mean, sorry, it's not in the web. It's in the cloud in your on your system." And and, and most importantly, when somebody goes to produce an output, it is produced by InDesign. Excellent. That's a that. So so, I have InDesign on my machine. I build the template to the specs of the company. I upload it to the branding UI cloud. The the everyone else that the team can access it through a web browser. They can control only the things that I want them to control. Yep. They can change the styles and the fonts only when I allow them to change the styles and the fonts. Yep. They can change the pricing and the <clears throat> headlines or that maybe if there's an image, they can swap out an image if I allow that. They can do all of that in a web browser, and then when they need a PDF or a ping or a JPEG or whatever, depending on what they're trying to do, if they need that PDF or when they need that PDF, you're saying that is using InDesign in the back end. Yep. So it's going to InDesign server. It's creating that stuff using the high-end publishing engine, that, which is InDesign, and then spitting out this PDF and just they can download it. Yep, yep. Because in fact – without anybody knowing this in the background, it is an InDesign document. So even though this user is using a web browser and it's using just, you know, web browsing tools, mm. uh, in the back end, it's an InDesign document being rendered by an InDesign server. I love that. I love that. And so ultimately the goal is this is going to make things much easier for the design community, the designers. They're, they don't have to make all those tweaks. I, I love that. I don't know. Do you, do you have that document uh, that 
uh, the infographic that you were sure. that you had created. Yeah, let me uh, let me pull it up right now. Uh, I I love this because it's it's so right on point. Uh, the fact that designers maybe can you zoom in on that? Um, Oops, the, right. the fact that designers. I, I love this. Sixty five percent of designers spend half their week or more making those little tweaks. I know that. I, I feel that pain. Yep. All those little tweaks, and all of a sudden, that's off my plate, right? That's on the, they can do that in a web browser. Yep, exactly. I yeah, love this. because as the other uh, data point says, what they would rather be doing is actually designing. Sure. Creating new materials. Right, yeah. right, 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 that's great. Um, yeah, just as scroll down here, I, this is, I mean, it's kind of a funny, funny infographic that you guys have made here, but this idea that when the, People in the field, the sales folks or the, the, the agents or whoever is doing it, when they're doing it themselves, yeah, this is, it's a disaster, grade F. I mean, it is, it is just horrible. Um, and, but they, they need help. They need help. Yeah. So I love that branding UI from Santa Cruz Software is uh, able to give them, able to make this, this bridge. It's really a bridge yeah. between the designer and everyone else who needs to get brand compliant documents. Uh, yeah, high we quality. Did this other survey to, just to the to salespeople, mm. and it you know clearly what they told us is they you know ninety percent of them use some sort of custom sales collateral, and in the end, if mm -hmm. they don't get it from the marketing or creative team, they're going to do it themselves. Mm. Um, <laughs> right, and, right. And uh, you know, two thirds of them will will try to go without the customized material, but you know. They say they're losing business. More, you know, almost two thirds of them say they're losing their business, right. and you know, uh, it, almost ninety percent say their life would be a lot easier um, if they had some way of, you know, having access to branded, customizable templates. Right. Um, you know, they believe that their sales will will increase by a pretty good pretty good number. Um, so it's interesting that you know the the numbers on the the negative side of the, in other words. What the what the salespeople don't like, also the uh, the uh, designers don't like. And right. They, both people say, if we could put customizable branded templates in a place where the field can see it, both people want this. Both organizations, the the field want it, and the designers want it, and they both find a great amount of benefit. Absolutely. You know, one of the core ideas of Creative Pro is this creating a win-win. The whole point is we need to create win-wins, whether it's winning between the designers and the, and the audience, or in this case, creating a win-win between the designers and the rest of the organization who need that. The, you know, only when you create that win-win on both sides of the equation will the whole organization thrive. Yep. And I, I really applaud what you guys have been doing uh, in building this because it really feels like it is a it's a win-win solution yeah yeah it's been it's been fun um you know we we've uh you know we get to talk to a lot of people and uh you know when we had this one customer who uh just a quick aside um who was using branding ui and about six months into it and they called us up and we were we were having a chat and they were said you know, Mark, we have a picture of you and your team in our in our team office, and we all bow down to you guys every time we see it, <laughs> <laughs> because you've changed our life. I can I can this see is, that. This was the designer. This was the designer side of of this organization. Oh my gosh! They they were literally spending ninety percent of their time just doing stuff that they didn't really wanted to do, and then do, to do, and then suddenly they had. Not only were they able to respond to their to their customers, you know, the end mm -hmm. users, uh, much faster. Um, they were also b making those users happier because they were coming up with even more creative ideas and creative yeah. programs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think that's that is so key. And it's not just that the designers are trying to be lazy. I love no. what you said earlier. Is that the designers want to design? Yeah. Does we, we designers we, we want to go in? We don't want to go and. Okay, now tweak this. Not editors, they're designers. Right, that's exactly right. That's right. And, you know, honestly, part of me says, well, why has Adobe not, why didn't Adobe put something together like this 10 years ago? But 
you know, I'm not holding my breath. Uh, you know, right now we need to go with. Ten years ago is when I left Adobe. And... Oh. <laughs> good point. <laughs> That's so, right. There you go. That's right. Actually, you know, we we should have mentioned that that you have. You're talking about how how Santa Cruz Software has been around for doing this kind of focused stuff for ten years, but you have been in this industry for much longer. You and Harbs. Yeah. And Peter, I mean, you, the three of you have been in this industry for, for decades now, yeah. helping, helping create this. I mean, you were, you were helping create InDesign from the very beginning. Yep, InDesign, I, product management, I ran the product management team for InDesign 1.52 One, yeah. um, and all the way through CS, CS4. So I was at Adobe for 10 years. Peter was at Adobe for 15 years. Right. Harbs has been working with Adobe technology as both a printer and a developer for, you know, 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you've all come together. It's it's, it's this great connection. Yep. Again, talking about a win-win, building tools that uh, that enable companies to thrive. Mm -hmm. I love yep. that. Well, listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk about this because I again I feel like this is an important category that just doesn't get talked about enough. That this these kinds of tools exist, not not just exist. They are. They're 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 really working in the uh, in the ecosystem. So I encourage everybody to check out Branding UI, brandingui.com, or, or go to santacruzsoftware.com. That's your the overall site, santacruzsoftware.com. Check it out. Learn more about this. It it is worth focusing on. It's worth taking some time to look into for sure. Yep. David, thanks so much for uh, taking the time to to talk with us um, and helping us get the word out. And we're looking forward to uh, Arizona. That's right, Creative Pro Week. Yep. Creative Pro Week in June in Arizona. It's gonna be warm, but full of good tips and tricks. I'm so glad that you're gonna be there. Yep. It's gonna be, be great. Fun. All right, thank you All right. so much. You bet, thanks.